Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we have some pretty great news for all of you ranked players out there. As you guys know, skill-based matchmaking has recently been changed as well as they've been adjusting rank to try and get the best pairing for you guys to make sure you're having the best games possible in ranked. Well, we got another new addition that should definitely improve that ranked experience. So about 10 minutes ago, Respawn tweeted out saying, Predator, Master, and Diamond Apex Legends players, this this one is for you. We've just rolled out DDoS protection for diamond through predator lobbies. This will be noted by a small shield symbol next to your server. While this is still ever evolving, we'd love to know what you think. So this is actually great news. I've heard a lot of people complaining about servers getting DDoS while playing ranked, and it looks like they finally do have protection for that specifically in diamond through predator lobbies. So if you guys don't know what happens, basically people who want to cheat, they DDoS the server and it basically kicks everybody out. It freezes them in the game and they get kicked out and they get an error screen and then the people who use the DDoS on the server can go around killing people getting free RP and better placement to basically cheat their way through the ranks. Well, it looks like that shouldn't be too much of a problem anymore through Diamond and Predator lobbies since there is protection now. It looks like it will be a lot harder for people to DDoS servers in ranks. So that is honestly great news. I'm not too sure if this also means if you do get DDoS and you get kicked out maybe you join back and you're dead because of that ddos maybe potentially in the future you won't actually lose rp because the servers will actually be able to detect that there is a ddos i'm not sure about that but we do for sure have this new update that should protect against ddosing servers which is great news make sure to comment down below if you guys have ever noticed this or if this has ever plagued your games in ranked i know a lot of people have experienced this but i'd love to hear your thoughts also connor ford respawn hideouts the apex security guy at respawn tweeted out about this saying been waiting for this to be announced for a while. Been so excited for this to be implemented for all my ranked grinders out there. Shout out to Sammy as always. I told you there were good things on the way and this is the first. So it looks like this is just the start for protecting against DDoSing servers. They did say it was still ever evolving so they are still working on it but this is just the first step of many and hopefully this one is a good solid base to protect against DDoSing and they will improve on that in the future just like they said in their tweet as well as just like what Connor Ford said. Lastly, Josh Medina, the senior producer at Respawn, also tweeted out about this adding Sammy Duck and saying Sammy Duck and his team do it again. I've seen his team battle to get this right, so it's a nice feather in the cap to that entire crew. So definitely a shout out to Sammy Duck, the technical director on Apex Legends. He and his team have been working on skill-based matchmaking updates as well as it looks like protecting against DDoSing. So I really do hope this will help players out in their lobbies. And a big shout out to him for actually working really hard on this to get it out and improve the game for all players. Lastly, I wanted to cover, if you guys didn't know, in my last video, I covered a new edition addition to the dev tracker it is a switch only bug where a small number of players on switch are appearing as level one or they're missing their other statistics well that still hasn't been fixed it's still listed under investigating as well as a few bugs that have already been fixed are still listed under investigating in the dev tracker such as wraiths being eliminated by headshots creating blue and orange particle effects well that has actually been fixed yet they have not updated on the dev tracker and also the third person easter egg has already been fixed but it is still listed as coming in a future patch but I'm sure they will make that update to the dev tracker in the future. But that's all I have for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It's the best way to support me. But it's been your boy, Seth Lee, and I'm out.